Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Nicole Chantel. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. So today's video is gorgeous or garbage. I did have a request come in from Stephanie, so thank you so much, Stephanie, for making this request. She wanted to see this product in this series to see if it was gorgeous or garbage, what I thought about it, if it's good, if you should spend your money on it, or keep your money in your pocket. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about the Urban Decay the Velvetizer. So when she asked me to test this out to see how I like it, I was like, definitely. So I've been testing that for all of July. I've been using this into my foundations. I'm going to get more into it um, later on in the video, what this product is for, and all that good stuff. So with that being said, I'm going to jump right into this video. So here's the packaging here, and I really love it. Really beautiful. It says, Velvetize your foundation with this universal mix and medium. Mix a dime-sized amount into naked skin liquid makeup or naked skin one and done to create an extra velvet feel with a beautiful matte finish and added coverage. Our high-tech formula provides a smooth, soft focus effect for a perfect complexion. So on the back of the box, it does say to use with their foundations, but I don't own any of the naked foundations. So I've just been using it with my go-to foundations, and you all know what I'm going to say, <laughs> the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'm in the shade number two, and I've also been using it with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm in the shade Porcelain, and also along with the Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm in the shade Fair. Love this concealer, my go-to concealer, the best concealer in the world. <laughs> so today I'm going to be using it with the Photo Focus Foundation along with the Tarte Shape Tape. So on one side of my face, I'm just going to apply these two products as normal. And then on the other side of my face, I'm going to mix in the Velvetizer with these products. So you guys could see a side by side comparison just to see what it looks like if it really does change it up. When they do say to mix it in with a dime size amount, definitely do that. I will show you what happens if you apply too little or if you apply too much later on after this demonstration. And so I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to just take my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and I already got my moisturizer on and all that stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to my face as I normally do. I feel like I'm really zoomed in extremely close to you guys. Am I really? <laughs> and I'm just going to spray my little sponge. This here is the Cake and Bake by Sephora. I really love this. It's like only $18, which is great. So, yeah, this will be the side of my face that has just the regular foundation along with the concealer with nothing mixed into it. So now that half of my face is done with my foundation, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just going to apply it where I always do. And I just apply a little bit. I don't go too crazy with this um, concealer because where it is such a full coverage concealer already. Now with that all applied, I always go in with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder Foundation and this is in the shade number two. And I just like to powder underneath my eye just to really set that concealer in place. So now that side of my face is done with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation along with the Tarte Shape Tape and the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder Foundation. Just regular, nothing added to it. So as you can see right now, it does have good coverage as is already. So now I'm gonna go ahead and mix in the Velvetizer with it. So what I like to do is I just take a couple of dabs of foundation onto my hand just to make sure I have enough there to mix in. So. There we go. That's it there on my hand. Now, the only thing with this is that when you open it up, you have to be really careful because as you can tell right now, there's a lot of product right there right now. So there's like no little scoop, no nothing. It's just like a little sifter. So you have to be really careful that you don't pour too much in. So I just like to go a little tiny few taps just like that. And here it is here now and then I just take my finger and I mix it all in together to get a really good mix and consistency so there we go all mixed in so now I'm just going to take that and I'm going to apply it to this side of my face and as you can tell already like that is super super 
thick. And I'm just going to start to pat it in my face. So there we go, there's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation mixed in with the Velvetizer. As you can tell, so far this looks more full coverage on this side of my face compared to this side of my face. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix it in with the Tarte Shape Tape. And I just take a little tiny bit, once again, on my hand, not too much, and then just a little tiny sprinkle of the velvetizer and then I'm going to mix that all together and there it is there so now you can tell that it looks really super thick compared to what it normally is and I'm just going to apply that right under my eye once again as you can tell it looks like a really different texture for under the eye And then I'm just going to take the rest of it and I'm just going to apply it where I always do. So here we go. So this side is just the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shape porcelain along with the Tarte Shape Tape applied normal. And then on this side is the Photo Focus Foundation along with the Tarte Shape Tape mixed with the Velvetizer. And as you could tell right now when I'm looking at you guys, I don't know if you guys could see this line kind of going down the center of my nose, but I sure can. I could totally see it when I look in the mirror. It's because where one side was mixed with the velvetizer and the other side wasn't. So I do find this really, really good coverage. I love how it mixed with the foundation, I have to say, and I just love that the finish gives it more of a full coverage compared to it just being nice and natural. So I'm going to show you now what could happen if you mix too much foundation with the velvetizer. So I have a clean hand right here. I'm just going to take my foundation and once again one, two. So here we go here. Here is the foundation. Now here's the velvetizer and I'm just going to show you what could happen. So I'm just going to pack it on there. <laughs> just so you guys can see. And then you mix it and mix it and mix it. And it almost gets really like a tacky texture when you mix it. And it gets really, hopefully you guys could see it, how it's like kind of drying and coming apart on my hand, especially right here. And it's more like, it's not a nice texture at all when you mix too much into it. Now I'll show you what it's like when you don't mix enough into it. So there's the foundation by itself and the velvetizer. So I just put a little tiny drop into it and you mix and you mix and it's just the same consistency as what the foundation was before. So that's what could happen when you mix too much. It becomes like really almost cruddy, kind of like breaking apart and a real tacky texture. And then if you mix too little, it's just the same consistency as what the foundation was before. It's really nice and silky still. So I went ahead and I applied my blush and my lipstick just to finish up this whole entire look. So what do I think of the Urban Decay, the Velvetizer Mix in Medium Translucent Powder? Is it gorgeous or is it garbage? It is gorgeous. I absolutely love, love this. I love how it takes my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and makes it more of a full coverage foundation and almost makes it look like a high-end foundation. Makes my skin look really beautiful. Just love mixing these two together. Also, not only that, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, like this is a full coverage concealer already, but when you mix these two together, it takes this up to another level. Like something that I've never experienced before with makeup. It just makes it so like, it's already full coverage, but it makes it more full coverage, if that makes any sense. It just takes it up to a higher level. I love that as well. And also just let you guys know that with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, these two combined as well, stunning. Really beautiful. I just love this 
um, powder so, so much. I just love how it takes the foundations that I normally use on a regular basis and it just really gives them more of an up, let, let's just say. And I'm happy that I could mix it in with foundations that I use instead of going out and buying something that I don't know if I'm going to like or how is my skin going to react. So I definitely recommend this. Definitely get it. It's $42 and you're getting a total of 0 0.28 ounces. But like I said, you only mix in a small amount. So therefore, this product's going to last you a long time. The only downfall that I have about this product is that it has the sifter on top. So therefore, a lot of product does come out. I just wish it had like a little tiny spoon that you could go in and scoop it and mix in with your foundation. But all in all, I love this. I'm so impressed that you could take an $8 foundation and make it look like a high-end foundation. Love, love, love. You guys need to get this. It's gorgeous gorgeous, gorgeous. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also, if there's something that you like to see in this series, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I would love to try out more products and see if it's gorgeous or garbage. Don't forget that you can find me on Instagram at NicoleChantel32, where I post pictures every day of the week and on Snapchat at NCP34. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!